Good morning. Welcome back to in Expert Insights. I'm Hosh Rajuman here, and we are on the subject matter of quote unquote mightier than the sword or the business of writing or the business of using the pen or the keyboard to create change. And my second guest, of course, here is a young and a handsome uh, father of one. One. Father yep. of one. And his name is Ben Francia, and he has a life tagline that goes, Make it happen. Yep. And he's a business blogger and one of the best IT consultants. Uh, IT consultants? Yes. IT I consultants in the country. Mr. Ben Francia, make it happen. Yes. Welcome to Expert Insights, Ben. Thank you. Thanks for having me. So, Ben, tell me, you are not as young as you look. Yes, I'm actually nearing my 40th. Oh! I, I turned 38 this year, so two years. Close two up. years. That's not a 40 year old face, that's a 19 year old <laughs> face, man. Thank you. <laughs> I, I guess it, no com no. it comes with the genes and always being, being happy, probably. Oh my God. <laughs> So your dad and mom also youngish looking? So youngish? Um, looking? my mom is my mom. My mom looks you younger don't than look she looks. Uh, you're over twenty one. Thirty eight? Thirty eight. Wala pang balbas, wala pang Um Balbas there there there's some. Oh uh, I shave <laughs> every day, so God Ben. So it's amazing to have a young old gentleman here. <laughs> yeah. So Ben now uh, let's continue the discussion uh, that was uh, started by Ms. Louise Francia here about okay. writing. No? Mm. Uh, recap, um, Louis, the writer, you know, the experienced, mm -hmm. careful, detailed writer mentioned that, number one, you need to slow down. No, that's her tip to be writing well, is to know yourself and to do good research or understand the market need. No? Mm -hmm. Now, how relevant are those tips in today's world when every Tom, Dick, and Harry, Jane, Mary, Susan is writing away? Yeah, I, I think the 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 same the same principles or the same tips would still apply. Yeah. But th there would be a totally different application probably. Yeah. When it comes to let's say the tip about slowing down, mm -hmm. it's really more about taking a pause. If you take a pause, then you you do things real quick after that pause, because um, everything in the internet is really fast. So you really need to move fast, you need to decide fast, you need to yeah. act fast, and we ne you need to respond real fast. Yeah. Um, when it comes to the second tip, what's the second tip again? So wait, what do you mean pause and act fast? Well, how uh, is that related to internet and uh, cr writing creatively or creating good content? Um, when, when you create uh, content online, most especially if you want to, let's say, respond to certain issues. Uh -huh. or, yeah. Um, let's say, for example, there's a new, there's a new technology that came out. And you don't want to, you know, spend so much time, spend uh, so many parang analysis, and you get paralyzed and not being able to respond right away. Uh, uh. Um, so what I normally do is whenever, let's say, something new comes up in the internet, I would do a little research, uh, find out what are the authority uh, leaders yeah. are saying about those things yeah. online. And I would come up with my own inputs and my own insights. Ah, okay, so in your case, what you're saying is that uh, stay on top, yeah, stay on top, and make all efforts to stay ahead of the curve. Also, I mean, create value, create content, but don't stand in the sidelines way too long because yes. the world moves fast. Yes. Tama ba? Tama? Yes. Yeah. The internet, most especially. Well, moves the world is the internet today. <laughs> I mean, you know, today and they say in a. Uh, uh, Maslow's uh, hierarchy of needs. The foundational needs are, I need Wi-Fi, you know, yes. then you need food, you need yes. Wi-Fi. <laughs> so that's the word. How about, uh, she said that you need to uh, know yourself well. That's uh, a tip, yeah? Yeah, um, most especially when you blog, <laughs> um, getting to know yourself and being, being consistent with your identity and your personality is really very important. Yeah. Um, because in blogging, the objective really, of course, Emperor, you, you want to communicate a message, but yeah. you want to connect with your audience, right. with your readers. Yeah. And I think the only <coughs> real uh, way for you to be able to connect with your target customers or, or your readers for this matter is really to be yourself. And to, you know, it's, it's really, really difficult if you try to assume somebody else's like style mm. or tone. So your own uniqueness. Yes. Your own Ben-ness. Yes. Huh? So you still must let it come through. Is that what you're saying? Yes, Otherwise the authenticity. Yeah, the authentic you must let. 
So even though you're writing for something like food and uh, yeah. uh, socks and clothes and underwear, whatever you are putting out into the world, you must put your own seal to it and yes. like your own and, and be yourself. fingerprint on it. Yeah, yeah. be yourself. And um, that things make Th that makes things a lot easier for you know for for the writing and the blogging that you do, because if you are yourself and you're not pretending to be somebody else, yeah. um, so there's so very I, I little I get effort. It. I mean, I understand the concept. My uh, the question on my mind is how do I include my own dugo blood in my writing? How do I do that? Even though I'm uh, connecting is one step, and then providing market value is another step, but how do I retain my personal signature? Um, th that's a tricky question. That's I, a tricky know, question. I need yeah. to know. Yeah. Um, the way I do it yeah. um, is I read my articles yeah. and compare it to how I actually speak. Uh, how you speak without under pressure or how you speak Exactly, how, that, how I speak casually, how I talk to friends, how I talk to you right now. Right, right, right. If you so notice, you do let your values and your beliefs just yes. Just let them go. Yes, and, and if you check out my blog, yeah. uh, it's bentransha.com. There, he's plugging yeah. away, bentransha.com. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, can, you can compare the articles that I publish on my blog and yeah. the, the YouTube videos that I publish on you know, YouTube and all these other social media networks. And you can even compare those um, you know, published materials with how I am in real life. Mm -hmm. There's really some consistency in that. Uh, so and I, I also you know, ask feedback from other people at, s at the start, it's it's a bit tricky, but you know, once you get the hang of it, and you know, just to be, just to be sure that you are yourself, my personal gauge is most um, most of the time is, am I am I happy with what I'm doing right now? Uh, that's your measure. Yes, that's my that's measure. Your if I'm, yeah. parang if I'm a bit, let's say, uh, uncomfortable, yeah. there, there's something wrong. There's something different. So you, that's your litmus test. Yes, that is. You know what a litmus test, test is. Back yes. in school, we used to do blue and violet. So, so your litmus test is when I read my own article a day later, does it please me? Yes. That's your litmus test. It's yes. a great one. No, that's actually a reflection of your own true self there. That does it make me happy. If it makes you not happy and it's too commercial, you dump it. And the third one she mentioned was make it uh, market worthy. Mm -hmm. Make it relevant to market or the customer. No? Which I think is a great point because you can be the king of Spain. Yes. But if you're not market worthy, you are just a king and there's no Spain. Yes. Um, the way I would translate it into blogging is to provide value. Mm -hmm. Provide remarkable value. Mm -hmm. Because otherwise, people won't, you know, won't really mm -hmm. spend time even just reading the first paragraph or just the first line of your blog. Um, and that, that's what creates or initiates starts the relationship building with your target readers. Mm -hmm. um, I guess that's one point also that I make sure whenever I publish something online. Does this piece of content, does this article, does this video, or this, does this piece of graphic provide value mm -hmm. to my target customers? Does it answer their questions? Does it solve their problems? Does it in any way make life better for them? So I, I guess that's, uh, that's Cite me a recent example of any of your uh, outputs whether they were in textual format or whether they were in a video format, what value did you provide? And how was it accepted by the market? Do you have any memory of a current one? Um, I, I've had, um, just recently I met up with a, with, uh, with a lead. It's, it's a, it's a customer. prospective customer, yeah. right? And what she, um, the, first, the first meeting I asked her, how, how did you find out about me? Because she, she just sent me an email through my, my business email. Right, uh -huh. yeah. I saw you online. Um, we're not connected in any way on Facebook or on Twitter. Yeah. So, so most likely somebody from her network shared my video. And it was a video on um, inbound marketing, mm. on publishing content in the internet and getting customers through that, you know, that strategy. Mm -hmm. And she saw me as somebody who was able to help her in a way by, you know, creating some awareness that um, it's about time for her to start using the internet to market and promote her, you know, her company mm -hmm. and her products and services. And, um, you know, even if we don't meet personally, even, even if she, she did not, you know, give me a call and decided to work with me, she actually acknowledged that that piece of video actually helped them. 
made, uh, gave her a light or gave her a insight to a possible solution because yes. she said it has to be large. Great. Now, Ben, you threw in a couple of words. You threw in Facebook and Twitter, and I have no idea what Facebook is. Okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No? Now, uh, uh, what is your media? I mean, what is the most relevant and uh, powerful media for us to reach it? I mean, you see, when we talk about blogging and we talk about social network, no? can you make it easy for uh, the baby boomers or people who have not in the know, what's the best way to go? Should it be a little bit Facebook? Posting or should it be blogs? What should it be? Um, what's the most best? Uh, there's no such thing. What's the most powerful? Yeah, um, I, I guess that <coughs> the answer that to that question is yeah. really relative to your target customers or your target, you know, yeah. the profile or your target readers. Mm. Um, the first thing that you need to do is really to find out where your target customers or your target readers are hanging out online. Mm. Right. And in your case, who are your target well, readers? Um, in my case, my target readers are really small to medium-sized businesses, marketing, entrepreneurs. Marketing people? Marketing people. Or business start, owners? Yeah, business owners, startup entrepreneurs. Why small to medium? Um, small to medium because th normally these are the, the type of businesses who really don't have a lot of money to spend uh, oh. in terms of marketing <laughs> and advertising. And um, I've made it also my part of my advocacy to really help out these you know, small to medium, small to medium sized yeah. businesses. And I think maybe you're right. The big, the biggies already have their guns there. You know, they have the big research institutes behind them. No. Yes. So okay. Now you also mentioned money. These people, money. What is how is money involved there? In the sense, like, what does it cost? What's my expense to, be, as a business owner, to become present on the net? Yeah. Um, <coughs> putting up an online presence. Yeah. And you know, doing online marketing mm -hmm. doesn't have to cost a lot. You okay. really need not to spend a yeah. lot of money. Yeah. Um, but I'm not saying that there's no cost to it. Okay. All right. Um, if you're, you know, if you're a startup business or you're, you're a startup entrepreneur yeah. and you don't have a lot of money to spend for marketing, even for online marketing, you can actually start with your online marketing campaign with, z with zero money cost but most definitely with a lot of elbow grease. So meaning to say you, you, you need to spend time doing it yourself. Uh, so it's not cash out, it's probably a lot of kind out. Um, a lot of, you know, uh, a, lo a lot of man hours on your part in really reaching out to your target consumers online. Or so can, you, can, you, can you assign this <coughs> to people? Can you get qualified people to take care of this? Or yep. there's a certain amount of risk there? Um, th there is. Of course, if you you know if you want to scale up, um, yeah. it it makes sense to mm -hmm. hire people to do mm -hmm. it for you. Yeah. All right. But um, for startup companies, you know, or startup businesses, small to medium small size, to medium, yeah. small to medium size. Right, let's say a hundred uh, companies worth less than fifty million. That's your goal. Or that's your target. Or uh, actually, even smaller. Even smaller. Even than smaller. That. Okay, wow. Even smaller. Um, you can actually do the initial campaign yourself, mm -hmm. just to learn the ropes. Because eventually, once you hire somebody to assume that position, wh who's the best person to teach that person would be you. Right. So you need to have a good amount of know-how yourself. Otherwise, yeah, you, you need it'll be blind leading the blind. Because yes. You need, to change. you need not to understand everything. Yeah. You know, at least you, you understand the basics. Mm -hmm. um, what you need to establish really there is the, the, the message that you need to put across. Mm -hmm. Because you as a business owner, you, uh, nobody understands the business more than you do. Nobody Correct. understands the customers, your target customers, more than you do. And nobody understands the value that you offer to your customers right. more than you do. Right, so you right. need to translate uh, those things into your messaging online, in your blog and in your so social media. A friend messages. of mine, a former IT guru from the Philippines, a lady called uh, Carol Carrion. Now she's Carol Smith, and she used to head buy and trade. And one time she told me, she said, Raju, uh, IT is no different from old way of doing things. You only use technology to do the things that you used to do before. So if small businesses want to be recognized or create a brand, all they are doing today is using a keyboard compared to using a pen and a typewriter before. Mm -hmm. uh, was she right? 
yes, I I highly subscribe to that. Yeah, to it that does statement. make sense, no? Um, like for example, um, social media. Mm -hmm. Social media marketing is, you know, in essence, just word of mouth marketing. It's so word of mouth marketing yeah. on steroids. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. you know, the, the the big difference there is yeah. um, the message spreads. Uh, it's fireworks. Yes, it's, it's really yes. marketing. It that spreads like wildfire. Uh, mm. It it the the reach is relatively higher. Yeah. And the time by wi which the message is delivered is a, a lot quicker. Yeah. Um, I, I do believe that the the biggest you know the biggest um, stumbling stumbling block or what's really keeping from the the small to medium sized businesses from really uh, embracing digital marketing is the fear of technology. Yeah, the fear of the fear of technology and it's changing fast. I mean yes, yes. Do you have to catch up a lot? Um, I guess in my in, in my case, um, yeah. my it, it wasn't really that painful yeah. for me because I have a tech but a technology background. But you still have background. to still have to chase the new knowledge. Constantly. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. But on top of that, um, I'm I'm a I'm a tech person and I love you're technology. One of, you're one of those crazies, huh? Um, <laughs> I guess I just enjoy reading tech blogs and yeah. you know tech related stuff. I go like this. <laughs> 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 just a picture, the sign of something technical. Like <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but the thing is, yeah. um, online marketing isn't really about technology. It's really about communicating to people. It's about being yourself and building relationships with people. And we well, say that again. I mean, I do get it. Yeah, I do get it, but I want uh, my friends, uh, everyone out there, especially that lady there watching and smiling, to understand what you just said. I've heard it so many times. It's I've, I've understood it by repetition. Uh, mm -hmm. And a friend of mine, uh, what's his name, Brad Geyser, was here two years ago, and he says, Raju, all we do is create a community of supporters in space. Mm -hmm. uh, so give it shape and form one more time, Ben. Make it. Uh, simple for me, what you just said, that online marketing is... On, online marketing is, is really just about building relationships online. Um, like what I said, the, the major reason why people mm. don't uh, easily you know, grasp this, you know, this principle is because they're fear of technology. Mm -hmm. But um, the technology behind online marketing is just like 10% of it. You put up a blog, that's it. Or you hire somebody to put up the blog for you. I mean, the blogging platform would take him like uh, an hour to, to set it up. And all you need to do is to provide content mm. to your target customers, whether it be you know an article, a blog post, a video, or a graphic. And um, when you, you, you you're good, I get it. Yeah, what when you, you publish what, what you're saying, what you're saying is. Uh, what Louis said a while ago is number one, pause. Number two is know yourself. Number two, provide value. So the moment you keep doing that, any business, even an ice cream shop on the corner, they keep doing that with or without technology, they create a reputation and a relationship. Their customers keep coming back. So what you're saying is now just raise yourself out a bit in the cyberspace and keep doing what you were doing as, as an ice cream vendor. Yes. Am I right? Am I right? Exactly. Okay. Your, uh, besides that, uh, your, I have two questions, a two, uh, few minutes left to ask you this. What, are your, what is your one secret to doing that? What is your one secret to doing that? My to secret? To building relationship, yeah. Um, I, I guess I, I always go back to that internal you know, thing, the reflection. My litmus test. The, if if I feel, if I feel good doing it, yeah. if I'm still happy doing it, mm -hmm. And the fact is, whenever I, f I help people, whenever I talk to people about, yeah. about online marketing, whenever I coach people how to create success online, mm. it, you know, my, l my eyes light up, you know? Yeah. And all you can see are smiles on my face. Bravo, young man, bravo. Young old man, he's 38 looking 20, you know? Now, last question, how long, how long in the cyberspace, approximately, would I get my returns? If I keep doing good, putting out good stuff, helping people, being happy, being very reflective about what I do, pausing, knowing myself, knowing my market, how long until I start seeing results? Approximately, um, yeah. 
yeah, that's actually relative to so many, you know, moving variables like yeah. the amount of effort that you put in. Yeah. If you like um, compensate it with some budget for other online marketing activities, the amount of people who help you, the amount of like uh, influencers you reach out who, yeah. in a way, yeah. um, um, promote your your mm -hmm. website or your, your products and services. Um, in my case. Um, the the amount of time that uh, that I spent in really putting up my online business is about six months of That's you know consistently doing um, the blogging, good thing, yeah. consistently putting up content in social media. Um, it could take longer for some. Again, it depends on the amount of effort that you put in. Could be you know relatively faster mm. as other you know online businesses have experienced. Um, but I guess the key there is not really to look at the amount of time that you put in before you actually see the results. Mm. So time Ma is not really a specific measure, yeah. or relevant measure. Yeah, um, like in <coughs> my case, what really sustained me is my passion for what I do. And you know, the, the business side of it, the results in terms of business and money, is, you know, just came in as a bonus. Um, I, I really love, um, Putting up content online, teaching so just people like in any the other business, you shouldn't be, uh, focus on the money side of the business. Exactly, huh? on more on creating value rather than the measure of time and money. Yes. Hey, Mr. Ben Francia, uh, it's been great having you. My time is up. I've got to ask you a lot of things of how, but let's skip that. And why don't you plug your business, your seminars, or whatever? Look at that camera and go make it happen. Yeah. So um, <coughs> I'd like to everyone to. Uh, take your time and visit my blog. Um, the blog is benfrancia.com. You can follow me also <coughs> on Twitter. It's at benfrancia. <coughs> I'm also on Instagram <coughs> at benfrancia. Um, Facebook, it's facebook.com forward slash internet marketing ph. I don't have um, any trainings scheduled for this year. I have a couple of training schedules scheduled for next year. Um, the one um, training that re I've been really dedicating time into teaching is uh, the secret to getting customers and clients online. Uh, I'm soon to uh, publish a video version of that and hopefully a book also, which is based on that training. So thank I'll you very provide much. testimonials for that. Thank you very much. Salamat, Mr. Ben Francia, Salamat. for being on Expat Insight. Thank and you. Uh, if you ever want to, will you come back to back us up? Most definitely. All right, thank you very much. So that was Mr. Ben Francia and of course, Louis Francia to talk, uh, having convinced us about that the pen is mightier than the sword. And I'd like to plug this book one more time. This is a great book, and it helps your thinking, uh, improves your thinking by author Malti Borjuani. Good night and mabuhay, and I'll see you next week with Mr. Brian Lane and Mr. Greg Forbes to talk about residency and education. Good night and mabuhay.